Ah, yes. Yep, that was a good cow. You don't look no better. You're talking about what? what wins and what loses in the NBA. People often overlook one of the key reasons. Do you get to the free throw line and do you prevent teams from getting to the free throw line? They got to the free throw line, they knocked them in, took advantage of their opportunities, and came to win with a nice solid victory. Uh -huh. Trying to sell your teams, Mike, on defense wins because it can be consistent. You can be consistent in your blocking shots, forcing turnovers, your talk, your help, getting back in transition, not giving up easy baskets, using your foul twice. They did all of that and got a big time win. Up. Can't get the layup to drop. That's the mark of a great defensive team. Great closeout, great contest. That's the way to get it done. Two on the layup. There's the whistle. Good job to draw the foul. Mark Gasol gets up his first of the night. I really like this play right here. You're a great free throw shooter. Draw the contact and get two freebies. First free throw is good. It right back. Sends it into the post. Trying to work it down low. It's good. And one. Freddie B from Wilson Chandler. And now it's one free throw to finish off the three point play. Terrific concentration to finish the shot and now shoot a free throw. To James, the screen is set. James fires away for two. Can't get it to go down. To Chandler. Chandler for two. Let's it go. It's good. Four point lead for Chicago. And this is the kind of offensive output we've grown accustomed to. At times it seems like it's almost effortless for them to score the basketball. Drains the three off the quick release. LeBron James with six points. And his hands up, his feet set, and delivered a bucket with a nice follow-through on that catch-and-shoot jump. Can't hit from three-point range. To James, he's among the league leaders in scoring this season. right there, dunking the ball with strength and force. Picked off by Thompson. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Up to finish with the hammer. scored 11 points in their previous game against the Indiana Pacers. James brings it across. Moskov moving the ball around beautifully to James. LeBron James with 8 points and 1 assist. To the basket, flips it up, gets that one to drop. That's a well-contested shot right there. Good defensive rotation, just better offense, finishing over the top. James against Chandler. Irving fires from downtown all along.
to an end. He'll just throw up the prayer. At the end of the first quarter, it's all tied up. We'll have more Monday Night NBA on ESPN after this break. As we start the second Lord, no. to imagine they can keep up this scoring pace. Jeff, it would help if they played a little more defense. But I love it, Mike. I love the pace and the flow of this game. This is what you don't get in other leagues. This is why the NBA is the best basketball in the world. High scoring up and down. And he connects on the first free throw. Goes two for two at the line. Chicago's leading Cleveland by a score of 21 to 19. Irving, that won't go. Getting the ball to the rim is so important to winning basketball. Great offense, great look, just couldn't knock it in. Kicks it out to the corner, hooks it up. Deep corner shot. That's a three. He's two for three from the outside. And what you're seeing here is both teams being very unselfish with the basketball. The assist total in this game is remarkable for both teams. Dangerous pass, almost a steal. Puts it up from downtown. Wait a minute. Three point range. To Shumpert. Gets to the rim, Kyrie Irving with his fifth assist of the night. And this first half has been all about these two teams' incredible offensive display. Possession after possession, these teams keep finding ways to score. Puts it up from three-point land. Bang! Hits from there. Say what? Oh, you know. Downtown, Chicago's shooting 66% from the three-point line tonight. I love back-and-forth games, tight games, because what you see, Mike, is who has the poise and the precision to execute under the duress of the tight, hotly contested matchup. Chandler. Excellent ball movement around the perimeter. That's a fourth shot. It's good. And a foul. Anderson Marigel picks up his first foul of the night. That's great body control right there. Finishes the shot and now goes to the free throw. And he does it. A three-point play. Chicago's leading Cleveland by a score of 30 to 24. Jefferson, excellent ball movement, great teamwork. Marichal on the drive. Smith from beyond the arc. Three-pointer, won't go. For two, knocks it down. Eight-point lead for the Bulls. You have to be balanced in this league to win. You've got to be able to defend, but if you can't score, you can't win. And this team is one of the best offensive teams in basketball. It's showing here today, and it showed up all season long. Nice ball movement. Fires from downtown. It's a three. Chicago's seven for ten from three tonight. You need guys who can make shots under duress and pressure. That was a well-defended possession. But that man stuck even against the best defense. Terrific block by O'Neal. To Chandler. Chandler fires. Off the mark. Steps back for the jumper. The Cavaliers with the offensive rebound for another possession. Chicago's leading Cleveland by a score of 35 to 29. 
O'Neill's looking for position in the paint. Try to keep the ball in bounds. Goes out of bounds, so it'll be Bulls' ball. And looks like both teams are making substitutions. Uh, uh, oh! Chandler against Smith. Chandler from downtown. Chandler's unable to hit from beyond the three-point arc. James stops it in the rim. And the only way to get an easier two points is to have your mom keep in score. They tip it and get the turnover. Oh, a ferocious dunk. It's time for the Rose Report at halftime, and it's brought to you by EA Sports. The Bulls will start the second half with a narrow lead. Clearly, the number of three-quarters these guys scored in the first half was incredible, and if they can keep that up, it's going to be tough to keep that team down. Have a look at the leading scores for the Chicago Bulls. The Cavaliers aren't down by too much at the half. And the offensive glass was their domain. They score plenty of second chance points, asserting themselves in the paint. Game track. Steel. We might be enjoying these first half highlights of steel, but I'm sure the coaches won't be in the next film session. Neither of these teams have been consistently able to maintain control of the basketball. Player of the half. I like this choice because he really put on a show in the opening half. There's a reason he's a fan favorite. Here's the shot chart for you. Okay. Who was cold? Kyrie Irving. Uh, okay. Struggle today with scoring out there. He's been able. The third quarter is about to get started. Welcome back to the Quick and Loans Arena for the second half, which is just about underway. Along with Jeff Van Gundy, Mike Green on hand. Chicago's got a slim lead as the third quarter gets underway. But Jeff, this one's in Come the here. right now. It is very closely and hotly contested. I like how both teams are playing. They've just got to try to get a little bit more separation with some sound quality possession. Picks it up for two. Good finish inside. He's got eight points in this matchup. And this game has just been absolutely tremendous to watch. The offensive display we're seeing here today from these squads will not soon be forgotten. Irving walks it across. Gets past the defender. Inside. Flips it up. Shot won't go. Hey, that's a good look right there. Just couldn't get it in. To Chandler. Wilson Chandler with 11 points and one assist. Chicago's leading Cleveland by a score of 42 to 35. Moves around the defender. Oh, the rim rocking slam from LeBron James. He didn't disappoint with that dunk. He just sent a ripple through the clock. Hey, what now? What now? The Chandler. Puts it up. Touch there, not this time. Sometimes all it takes is one more. One more pass, one more drive, one more screen to create a better quality shot. And score! You can't get it easier than that right there. 
That's his wide open, easy jump shot that he knocked home. And the defense's work with excellent ball movement gets it up for Thomas Mann and draws the foul. And it's on to the free throw line. It's going to hurt. To complete the free throw. It's going to hurt for a while. Contact, finishes the shot. And now but she will be with you when you continue to go to church. I just can't. I know, baby. But it's it's going to hurt. And it's a three point I quit. I quit City Road. Four minutes gone by in the third. It's, 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 it's going to hurt. The only thing Cedric's going to want is money. The defense, nice. From well, you. Yeah, because my daddy used to pay for my, uh, uh, what you call it? Your tires. Mm -hmm. Moving the ball, excellent teamwork. I read the action. I, I don't want to talk the about it. Movement. Um, this game has been phenomenal. Forcing a and lot of defensive but, rotations I mean, not, and ultimately I, a lot of passes leading to direct if you, if you do, if you do decide to go to the Lord, you want me to pick Parkers, Robinson, I want to do the same thing that my mom did. Robinson, you want to be Barry or you want to be Freeman? The same, the same thing as my mom. Green man. More cheap. Perfect entry pass. Oh, my God. That's a two-pointer. The Cavs down by four. I do want to, I do want to get buried so I can go see it. Terrific ball movement. Shoots the three. Same thing go for me. He's got nine points in this game. You my husband. Right yeah, I know that, Christian. I'm not saying. I know it ain't going to be the size. But, baby, think about, think about the good times with me and you and her head. Again with the open three. Nails the jumper from downtown. And that's the 10th three-pointer for the Bulls. They played well the entire night at the offensive end of the floor. They moved the ball well, and they continue to generate quality shots. Excellent ball with great teamwork. Strong at the rim. And you can only control what you can control. The defense there was great. Didn't hurt to get up the top the top. Shot. It's so hard to see. Granny, you think they're the bad? Yeah, they put themselves in good position. Be. But this is no time to sit back and relax on your laurels. You gotta play the full 48. Nice ball movement, Irving. I get tired of hearing everybody say, oh, it's gonna be okay, it's gonna hurt. It's gonna get until you experience it, losing one of your um, family members. Especially your mom or your dad, it's gonna hurt. Yeah. The defense work with excellent ball movement. Quick release for three. But that's what we were looking up to. And I know somebody called, and I ain't even gonna talk about this. And I know somebody called DSS on her. And a wide open miss. But it was in the group home. Came into a lane. And start making. To work their well, they start talking back. Excellent teamwork. Puts it in, and they take this lead into double figures. 